three, two. Hey, so uh, I know it's early. We start at seven o'clock. I just wanted to, uh, I just thought we'd just take some time where as you stroll in, as you come in, we can just chit chat a little bit. Uh, give me a question. Um, today is the beginning of Passover, so we're going to be talking about that a little bit today. Um, so how's everybody doing today? How's everybody feeling? Um, we are trying a new, uh, I'm trying a new way to do things. We're on something called Ecamm. It's pretty cool. If you look down, um, you can't see where I'm pointing, but if you look down here at the bottom of the screen, you see our web address. So come check us out after the podcast is over. Maybe write that down after this live is over. Check it out. Um, you know, I don't think I really, honey, I don't think I really ever announced uh, our new logo. So I'm going to put that over here. This is our new logo for the church. I'm pretty excited about that. Maybe we can see that right there, right where Ellie's going to be sitting, right there. You can see our new logo. Um, so uh, nobody's on yet, so I'm just going to hang out for a bit. <sighs> Braden is behind the camera. He, You can't see him, but he is he's my camera guy. Uh, so we're, we're trying things a little bit differently today. Hello there, whoever just got on. I'm happy to have you with us today. Um, give me a little uh, thumbs up or let me know who that you're here. Um, give me a little heart, like, whatever. And and uh, anyway, uh, how are you doing today? What is going on with you? Hey, Brain, come over here. I want you to tell, them about, tell everybody about your day. We're just hanging out. This is just the lobby time. We're just hanging out until service. We're going to get started with our service. Hey, here's Brayden. Uh, we're getting started uh, a little early just to hang out. Uh, somebody gave me a thumbs up. Awesome. I'm happy to see that. How are you doing today? What is going on with you guys? Brayden, tell me about your day today. What'd you do? Um, well, I woke up and I played video games and then I did my homework. Hey, Linda. I ate lunch. I rode my bike for like eight minutes and then, yeah. Yeah. Got your homework done? Yeah. Yeah, I got your schoolwork done for the day. Yep. That's good. Uh, oh wow. So yeah, we're just going to we're just gonna hang out for a bit. This like it's like before church. We're just virtual hugs. It's good to see you. Welcome to church tonight. We're so happy to see you. Welcome, welcome. Linda, I'm waving back at you. Um let's see who else. Who else is there? I see we got five viewers. So who else is there? Let, just give me a shout out. Say here or hey, Mary, we miss you. I can't wait to see you again. Um, see here. What do you want to say anything to Mary? Uh, hi. Yeah. All right. Hey, Angie. So tired. You work today. We're still busy. Lots of calls. Wow. I bet you people are wanting these just to get away and still have their social distancing, aren't they? Uh, that's why you guys are so busy. John, hey John, it's good to see you guys. Uh, I'm happy. I wish I could see you like your physical face. I know you guys can see us. You can see our faces because we're on online. Check this out. Check this out. I'm gonna switch camera angle. There we go. We got two cameras. Isn't that cool? So yeah, uh, yeah. I'm I'm just having fun with. It. I found some new tech, and I'm a happy boy. <laughs> technology is fun uh so except for when it doesn't work and then it's no longer fun <laughs> hey john i want to let you know you'll see it sunday don't do that brayden okay we're gonna see um on sunday i built the first wall out of that pallet wood so hey russ and sarah hey you guys went to summit lake and read the awesome book of job that's a that's a tough book to read that's it's good though there's a lot of good stuff in there um so uh, that's, I'm happy to hear that. You look like, yeah, I saw the pictures on Facebook. Look like you guys had a good time. Anyway, John, as I was saying, we, uh, I built the first pallet wall and it'll be the backdrop on Sunday. And so we're excited about that. So you get to see, so I just want to say thank you for taking those apart so I can get some stuff done. Uh, I built that Monday. It took me just about five hours to build the first wall. I guess I'm a slow builder, but, um, Anyway, we're working on it. Anyway, if you're just joining us over here, 
right there. Right there is our address, web address. If you've never been to our website, check it out after the service. And then over here is the wrong way, right? Which hand am I doing? Right here yeah. is our Newcastle. This is our new logo that we had worked on that we that we just added here. I'm going to do this one because, hey, I don't know if you notice, we we're flipping spots, spaces. <laughs> I'm going to try to fix that really quick so it doesn't do that anymore. So I'm going to mirror this camera as well. There we go. Now it's doing it correctly for me. Hey, all right. Yeah, it's going to be it's, it looks really good. I'm really I'm really proud of it. Uh I know that we're going to have some people come out soon and uh and we're going to stain it and uh and it'll look even better, but right now it looks good. It's going to look good. We got some new lights. Um and that that'll help light us up better and so it won't be as much of a shadow or look like there's just one light on my face so all right man so good to see you guys we got seven people online who else is here who else is here let me give me a shout out let me know that you're here we miss you guys really we do yeah so here we're going to that one this is my phone camera it's a little bit more high res so uh, but if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking down at my computer to read your guys' posts and comments. Uh, listen, if you have your bread, if you have your, your juice, get it ready. We're going to be taking communion today. Uh, we're, we're not going to start with the message part for another uh, five minutes or so. So, all right, heart, heart emoji. All right. Uh, does anybody want to tell us about your day? You go ahead and just yeah. let just a brief post maybe an emoji that you can throw in there let us know about your day uh you'd love to hear about your day i'm gonna go ahead and mute my screen sweet russ yeah i'll be contacting you and sarah i've already messaged sarah let her know that we need some help so i think we're gonna get you guys out to the church to help us one of these days uh i think i'm gonna try to get at least two sections of wall done before we actually stain it that way we can get it all done at one time I bet you are, Mary. Uh, I am bored out of my gourd, so to say. I I miss you guys, and uh, I yeah, I got to go to work, but I'm usually the only one there. Sometimes Kay's there. Kay's there usually. She was there when I left this evening, but we keep our distance from each other, so it's like, ah, oh, I need people. All right. Anybody else? Hey, Neil and Sue, how are you guys doing? We miss you guys. All right. Let's see here. I'm going to do this camera again. Brain's doing his little dance. I'm going to rotate this. Ellie doesn't want you seeing in our kitchen. All right. There we go. I just did that. Check it out. It's our new logo that Brain is holding with his hand. He's holding it. He's holding our logo with his hands. And then we're holding our web address with my hands. So check it out. And uh, I can't wait to just listen to you guys and not do all the talking. Oh. Uh, all right. Anybody else? We're going to start. We're going to get started with prayer here in a minute. Ellie's going to join me. We're going to look. We've got a few uh, scriptures we're going to look at. And we're going to take communion. So I hope you got your communion all ready. All right. How are you feeling right now? Give me an emoji that describes how you're feeling this moment. It could be you're pulling your hair out like Mary. I don't know if there's a, an emoji there for that. But show me that or, or whatever. Let's see, I'm going to see if I can find something. Find an emoji. I don't know if I can do emojis on this program. Doesn't look like I can. So, I can't add one. So, um, who else is here? I see we got, let's see here, 15 people online. Who else is here? This is a good church service. This is a good Wednesday night. 15 people. Loving yeah. it. Let's see here. John and Brenda. See, maybe I wish I was, hey, Barbara, miss you. Sharon and Bill. Hey, Bill, I can't wait to start playing basketball again. I really miss playing basketball with you guys. Hey, Brenda. They're, Brenda's watching with anticipation, babe. She just said, watching with anticipation. So, um, yeah, I better get my song and dance out. 
Here's Brayden. Yeah. He's going to show off hey. Penny for you guys. Hey, hey. Who needs a, a little dog in their life? There she is. There's Penny. Penny. Okay. Here's the Penny girl yeah. with her new haircut. New hey. haircut. Hey, Lana. Hey. Uh, hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. I'm ready to get going. I want to have church. Yep. Hey, Brayden, are you going to let your mom sit down? Yeah. All right. Oh, Pastor Galloway's on. Hey, Pastor. All right. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have you guys all with us here tonight. Here's my wife. She's, man, she looks much better than I do. Oh, let me tell you. Goodness. Yeah, so she don't, I won't go any further because she doesn't like me embarrassing her about telling her how pretty she is, but she's always very pretty. So, honey, before we get going. Yes. How was your week? Did you do anything interesting yesterday to your honey's hair? I gave you a haircut. You gave me a haircut. And I gave the dog a haircut. And gave the dog a haircut. She used the same scissors and clippers on my head that she used no, on No, I have different ones for the dog. <laughs> really? Because I was finding dog hair all over my head. I have um, rounded tips so that you don't accidentally poke your dog if they wiggle. Yeah. So... Oh, so I don't wiggle enough? Yeah, so you, you don't, don't wiggle, use, yeah. so you can get poked. She uses the better stuff. <laughs> yeah, for the dog. For the dog yeah. than she does for me. All right. Uh, but, yeah, I was getting ready. I couldn't I couldn't take it anymore. I yeah. had to get my hair cut. It was getting way too long. So, hey, check it out, babe. I got two cameras. Oh, nice. Yeah, so. Hello. Hello. And welcome to Meet the Alex. <laughs> quick plug. Quick plug. Hey, Kim gave John a haircut today. He was a mess. Nice. Nice. Uh, just just a quick plug. Selfless Is anybody doing plug. pedicures? Because I need one. Okay. All right. <laughs> we have a podcast. Yes. We have a podcast. It's called Meet the Maliks. Go to Apple's iTunes. Now listen, after today's, after today's service, I'll post it on Facebook so you can find it. If you're friends with me, I'll just post it on my page. I'm not going to post it on the church's page. That is more for, um, uh, Ellie did fine, Kay says. She said you did a good Aww, job. thanks, Kay. Um, so listen, check out Meet the Maliks. It's just, it, listen, it's not another preaching time. It's more just to get to know us better. Uh, if you've ever wanted just to know what's going on in our minds in this season, in this time, or whatever time in life is going on, just check us out on Meet the Maliks. Yeah. We try to keep it under a half hour long. We try to just make it easy listening. Um, so just check it out. Meet the Maliks. I will post, uh, I'll post it on my Facebook page after the service tonight. Um, if you're not friends with me, friend me and I will accept your friend and then we will, um, we'll, we'll get that going. Also, I want to show you something really quick. Uh, see here. That's the first for tonight. Um, on Safari, see here on this, on this one right here, down here, I believe it's, uh, see, let me get rid of this. See here, I'm just going to move this over here. Move this over here. Okay. So right here, you see groups where my, you see my, see it's highlighted? Click groups. And see, I'm already in the group, but click group, click groups, and then go down to members of First Assembly. And I believe I need to move these. I got so many little windows in my way. I can't see what I'm doing. There should be over here a place where you can say, join the, this group. It's going to ask you two simple questions. Well, you already probably know them, but it's going to help us get your info, your contact information, basically. It's going to come straight to me, and then I will accept you into the group. That way, we can um, actually – I'll be putting posts in there that I'm not going to be putting on the Facebook page. See, our Facebook page, this uh, First Assembly of God a Facebook page, is, is a page that everybody can get to. But groups are private. They're like groups within – so the members or – I'm going to put one probably together for the board or, um, you know, when we have a new members class, we'll, we'll get the new members in that group, you know, stuff like that. So we can connect with each other and it, the sky's the limit. But first of all, I want you to go ahead and join that group after the service tonight. And then, um, and so, uh, after that, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and you have anything else you want to talk about? Any other thoughts? Okay. All right, let's pray. Let's pray, and then we will uh, get started with tonight's service. Listen, if you have any questions of anything, go ahead and ask them. This is just a laid-back time. Um, uh, we miss you guys, too. 
Has anyone talked to Betty Smucker? Yeah, we have. But, we have. Uh, I'm trying to remember when last time I talked in. to her. Yeah. It's been a couple. It's been about a week since mm-hmm. I talked to her person, like on the phone. I'm sure other people have talked to her. She's got a lot of friends. So, all right, let's pray and then we'll get started. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for today. We thank you for what today, um, Lord, just represents. Lord, it is it is the anniversary of when you had your last supper, the night that you were betrayed. It was uh, a few days before you were crucified. You're putting the cross for us, Lord. And we thank you that you had us in mind with only three days left to live. And Lord, I pray you would just take this time tonight, take this service, yes, take this teaching, take this time in prayer, yes, and use it for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's see here. I'm going to switch to my other web browser. If you have your Bibles, if not, um, if not, it's going to be, see here, I'm going to switch it out over here. All right, so here we are reading out of Exodus chapter 12 uh, in the NIV version. It was one of my favorite versions. I love the NIV. You can't go wrong with any versions. I'll preach out of the NIV, the New Living Translation, and sometimes the English Standard Version. I, I just have those ones that I go to sometimes. Um, so let's read a little bit. I got a few thoughts, a few notes. I just want to point this out. Um, we Passover, in case you didn't know, starts today. In the Jewish calendar, today is Passover. It doesn't, apparently, I I was wrong. I was misled until my wife edu- educated me. I did. Yeah. When I thought Passover started every Easter. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, and you, you searched it up. Well, and, I just happened to hear that. So, yeah, I'm learning too. So, she's she was uh, one step ahead of me, the, the pastor of the church. And so, anyway, I learned that Passover does not fall every Easter, but... Um, Good. Kathy's talked to Betty last night. So uh, let, let us know. How, uh, I'll call. I'll probably have to call her soon, too. I yeah. want to see how she's doing. Anyway, so it says this in Exodus chapter 12. Um, this month is to be for you the first month, the first month of your year. Tell the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each man is to take a lamb for his family, one for each household. If any household is too small for a whole lamb, they must share one with their nearest neighbor, having taken into account the number of people there are. The animal, verse five, the animal you choose must be a year old male without defect, and you may t- take them from the sheep or the goats. Take care of them until the 14th day of the month, when all the members of the community of Israel must slaughter them at twilight. Then they are to take some of the blood and put it on the sides and tops of the door frames of the houses, where they are to eat the lambs. That same night, they are to eat the meat roasted over the fire, along with bitter herbs and bread made without yeast. Do not eat the meat raw or boiled in water, but roast it over a fire, with the head, legs, and internal organs. Do not leave any of it till morning. If some is left till morning, you must burn it. This is how you are to eat it, with your cloak tucked in your belt, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. Eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. On that same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn both people and animals, and I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood will be assigned to you that the house where you are, and see, the blood will be assigned for you on the house where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. No destructive plague will touch you when I strike Egypt. So that's that's it in a in a in a nutshell in a way. Passover was a way for the was was a celebrate is a celebration that the Jewish people celebrate every year that commemorates when God passed over the Israelites' houses who had made had a sacrificed lamb and they put the blood on the doorposts and they ate the meat. And so there's a few things that, that stuck out to me when I was getting ready for tonight is that every household was supposed to sacrifice a lamb. Every household was in in the same way we're going to see a lot of parallels between the Passover and our Christian faith. Every person must receive Jesus in their life for themselves, for God to pass over their lives for their sin, pass over the sin in their lives. It was supposed to be a one-year-old lamb with no defect. It was supposed to be perfect. Just like Jesus was the perfect, spotless lamb of God. He lived without sin. Um, They're supposed to take the blood and apply it to the sides and the top of the doorposts. 
which represents the entering into their house. That's where everybody has to pass through to get in that house. And if it, that blood was there, God wasn't going to pass in and judge that house. He was going to just pass right over it. Each lamb was supposed to be roasted. It wasn't allowed to be cooked any other way. Um, there was supposed to be nothing left over. And so when you hear this story, honey, what, what are some things that, that stick out to you that, 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 that you think about? I just think about how, you know, they had to trust and, and obey like everything he said, you know, all the, all the instructions, you know, yeah. for that night and what a huge, you know, d dramatic thing happened. Yeah. It's amazing to me. It's, it's a miracle. And I, I understand why it's celebrated. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's amazing, and the fact that that after the Passover, um, the Israelites were basically they were basically kicked out of Egypt. Like they were, that was their freedom. That was their deliverance from this this slave this bondage of slavery that they had under the Egyptians underneath their their boot heel, so to speak. I mean, they were being they were being pushed around. They're they they were being brutalized by the Egyptians. And when God came and did this, it was the last straw. It was at the end of those plagues that God sent on Egypt, and then he passed over. And and so um, as a result, they were told, they were instructed to um, they were instructed to to observe it every year. It was supposed to be the beginning of their calendar. That that a new year, another year has passed, that we have been free from the Egyptians. And they're supposed to praise God, thank God. They're supposed to get rid of all yeast. They're supposed to get rid of all all that stuff from their house. And, and I believe they they were instructed to eat it with their cloaks tucked in because they had to run right after that meal. They were just gone. They were spit out of there. They weren't supposed to take anything with them. So awesome. So that's the first thing. And then then the next thing I want I can't I can't look past is the fact that. When Jesus was here on earth, one of the last things he did was celebrate Passover. Mm. He was crucified on Pass during Passover. And, and so we see this in um, Matthew chapter 16. I'm going to go back to that, that view for you guys to see, see my screen. It says this in Matthew chapter, sorry, Matthew chapter uh, 26, verse 17. It says this, On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want? Hold on. I can't read it. There we go. Where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. The disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. Just a quick thought. Just a quick side note. This is the second time Jesus has instructed his disciples to go into town and do something. The first time we looked at it this last Sunday, he told them to go in and get a donkey. Mm -hmm. And he told them what was going to happen. And I'm sure they were thinking, all righty, we'll go and we'll see if this happens. But I bet you this second time they're like, all right, we're going. Mm -hmm. It's going to happen. This We're going to meet this guy. He's going to give us a place to have the Passover meal. Yeah. And so... Twice, Jesus expected his disciples just to trust him and, and to do what he said. So when evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. And they were very sad and began to say to him, say to him and, one and one after the other, Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, The one who dipped his hand in the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go just as written about him. But woe to the man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Jesus, the one who betrayed him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. And he said, Yes, you, sorry, you have said so. Then here's verse 26. And we we see another account of the Passover of this communion in another book. But I really wanted to read it from the disciples' perspective in the story of Jesus. And that's why I'm reading it here today. It says, While they're eating, Jesus took the bread. I got some bread here. Um, it's called, uh, it's a matzah, it's a matzah, um, piece of matzah. And this is what the Jews will be using all throughout the world right now during Passover. This is the bread that they will be using. Now, can they see you or that screen? Which sorry, screen? they can see, sorry. 
And you can see this right here. Okay. Isn't that kind of cool? Oh, okay. So I'm going to go to camera view only. So this is the matzo bread. It's broken a little bit. I apologize. But this is the matzo bread. It um, It's unleavened. They weren't supposed to have any leaven, love, leaven in their bread. It's um, striped. You see stripes on it. And it's pierced. And so he took the bread. And this is what it says in, uh, let me go back to this screen. This is what it says. It says, um, then he took it. So while they're eating, Jesus took bread. And while he had given thanks, he broke it. So he would break, he broke it up and he handed it to each of the disciples. I can give my Braden some a little bit. He's on the other side of the screen. And then he said, he, when he given thanks, he broke it and he gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat. This is my body. We're going to do this in a minute. Don't do it yet. And then he took a cup. Hey, bring, go get yourself a cup. He took a cup and I gave my, Ellie said I gave us too much grape juice. <laughs> But here's a, here's some fancy little cups we got with our grape juice in it. And it says, He took a cup, and while he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. Then they sung a hymn and went out to the Mount of Olives. A few things stuck out to me. First of all, Jesus created a new Passover. This is the new Passover. Other versions say, um, this is my blood of the covenant. And other, other versions of this, other later copies of this says, blood of the new covenant. See, Jesus, he made a new covenant. He was basically saying to his disciples at this time, we're celebrating Passover. The lamb was slaughtered, was killed for us. The blood is put over the, over the doorposts. This is my body. And he's basically saying, I am now the lamb. I am the, the last sacrificial lamb for you. And that's why Passover and Easter is so important this day of, of East, before Easter because we need to understand that Jesus was saying that lamb, no longer are you going to be sacrificing a lamb for, for the blood of that lamb to cover your sin. I am now the lamb that's covering your sin. I am now the one that's going to die. And he knew that in a few days' time, he was going to be slaughtered. He knew he was going to be hung up on a cross. He knew that his side was going to be pierced and blood was, and water was going to run out. He knew all of this and he was saying, you need me to do this so that way you can have eternal life. So you can have a way to the Father. And so um, that's, that's the first thing that pointed out to me. Um, and the blood of the lamb is the juice. The lamb, the meat that they're supposed to eat is the bread. And his blood over us, over our lives, will cause God's judgment to pass over us. We need to understand that I think sometimes we just need to stop and take reflection on this. Yeah. We need to stop and take reflection on, on, the, on the communion, on, on all, all that it represents. And we need to stop and, and just observe this. You can do this at home. I encourage you guys to take communion at home and and observe what Jesus did for us. Yeah. Um, we can do this often. We don't have to wait till Passover. We don't have to wait to the beginning of the year. We can do this every day. We can do this now from um, in our kitchens, in our bedrooms, wherever we're at. So with that, I want to take communion. Yeah. And then I want us to pray. If you have prayer requests, I want you to go ahead and just um, you, if you don't mind, go ahead and post your prayer requests on the on the comments over here, on the comments. If you if you don't want to speak out your prayer, but you have a prayer request, please do like a prayer emoji, emoji so we you know we know that she wants to pray for you. And we're gonna take some time. We're gonna pray, and we're gonna ask God just to to move in our lives. I know we're in quarantine right now, but we need to know that there's still hope. There's still hope. Jesus is our hope. He's our, he's our salvation. So go ahead and get your bread. If you have your bread, get it out. And this is what Jesus said again. It says, while they're eating, Jesus took bread. And while he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying this, take and eat. This is my body. So go ahead and take and eat the bread. Then he took the cup 
And when he given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from the fruit of the vine and from now until the day when I drink it with you in my Father's kingdom. Take and drink. All right. I love that verse. It said, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for the many for the forgiveness of sins. Lord, thank you for your body. Thank you that it was broken for me, for Ellie, for Brayden, for everybody watching right now. Thank you for your body that was broken for us so that we could have healing. Thank you for your blood that was poured out for us so that it could wash us, wash all our sins away, so it can make us new, a new creation, so that you would pass over our sin. You would no longer see our sin because you see us covered by your son. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Does anybody have any prayer requests, any prayer needs? Tonight, we're going to take a few moments. We're going to pray. We're just... Make sure we're scrolling down, so in case we... Yeah, I think we're down at the bottom. Okay. Well, I want to continue to pray for my sister, who is a physician's assistant in um, Marion County. Yeah. Definitely that. We We want to pray for our president, as well as our governor, and all of their government officials as we're as they're making all these decisions. Um see what else. Um our pantry is gonna be closed this week and next week and maybe even longer. We're not sure how much longer. Um Kay just gave us a prayer hands emoji, so we'll definitely be praying for you, Kay. Um so we want to pray for those in our community that are that do that are hungry, that are have needs. I know that we're not gonna be able to meet them this week. We're just out of safety for our people. We're just closing the pantry down for the next couple of weeks. But we want to pray for our community. Um let's see. Sorry about the dog. My dog hears some stuff outside and see all the people on the front lines, Kathy says. Amen. Yes. We'll definitely be praying for them. All the essential workers, too. Yeah. Listen, we'll be praying for you guys. I know that Mary said earlier that she feels bored out of her gourd. <laughs> but we're going to be praying for for this season. Um, I know it's hard. It's hard for us to keep our hope up, to keep our spirits up. Because if we just watch the news, it just seems so bad all the time. Yeah. But if we, but we need to focus on Jesus in this time and in this hour. See, um, yeah, pray for those who haven't come to know God's love like we do. Um, amen. Amen, Russ. That's, that's good. Hey, listen, um, I want to encourage you guys. Our, our message on Sunday is going to be very sim- it's simple. It's, I mean, it's, it's but profound. Because it's going to be about how Jesus is our, our Redeemer, our Savior. And it's going to have an, an invitation to, to people to come to know Jesus. Listen, I want to encourage you guys to, uh, you know, put out a, a selfie, make a selfie video and invite people to church. Join us this Sunday at 1030 um, on Facebook. And it'll be up on YouTube as well if they don't have Facebook. Do that, you know, this week. Um, and... uh See and you here. can tag our church so you that can, way they know yeah. which one you're talking about. Yeah, tag our church. There's no confusion. Yeah. Also, Linda said for the virus to be lifted. Absolutely. Yeah. It's really yeah. good. Yep. Oh, and Mary said that Mary too. Mary says the same Quicker thing. Quicker than what they're saying. Yes. We so, agree with that. And then um, see here. This video will be will be available on Facebook Live after the service is over. And so we were we want to if you have any prayer requests after this is not live anymore, please put it on there and we will, we, I, I see these, I see these comments. They mm-hmm. come straight, straight to my box and I'll pray for you at that moment. Hey, Alan and Betty, 
Um, see here. Uh, yes, pray that people that nor aren't normally reached will be reached by this online ministry. That's good. That's good, Kay. Um, so, uh, all righty. We're going to wait just a little bit longer. If anybody has any more prayer requests, uh, let us know, and we will pray for them. Um, pray for all the parents that have their kids at home still. <laughs> pray for grace and helping them get their homework done. Luckily, my boys have been mostly doing well yeah. with that. So They've been doing good. Um, I've been praying for Ellie a lot because... <laughs> She's home a lot oh, more. We're doing, we're doing good. We're doing good, though. We're being healthy. Mm -hmm. um, so. When you switch views, I'm like. <sighs> I know. It's weird, huh? Okay. Well, let's pray. All right. Let's pray. Hey, hi, Larry. Hi, Larry and Helen. Hey, let's pray for Larry and Helen because I just want to pray for them. Okay. I miss them. Yeah. I miss you guys. I cannot wait to see you guys again. Give you guys a big hug and a handshake. And uh, all right. Dear Jesus, we lift up all these requests to you, Father. We lift up Aaron. We lift up um, Ellie's sister on, who's on the front lines. We lift up those who are working at our hospitals and, and working at Walmart and, and working at all these stores that are still open, Lord. And Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you'll be with them in this season. I pray, Lord God, for your grace that you will um, help them just experience your love in this season. Lord, we come, Lord, I pray, Lord God, that the anger will not be high in the frustration, but people will be understanding and patient in this season, Lord God. Lord, I pray for, um, Lord, I pray that this virus will pass quickly, Lord God. I pray for um, uh, these online ministries, all the online ministries all that all these churches are doing right now, Lord God, so. will reach people that normally would not be reached. Lord, we pray, Lord God, that you will speak to people in their homes. We pray for hope. For those who are stuck at home, who are not getting out, who aren't able to get out, Father, who feel alone, who feel lonely, we pray yes, for Lord. hope in their homes, Lord, in Jesus' yes, name. God. Lord, as we take this communion, as we as we honor and observe the Sabbath, Lord God, we pray that you will, um, Lord, we pray, Lord, and the Passover, sorry, as we honor this, the Passover, Lord God, we pray that you that we will understand that you're passing over our sins, Lord God, and help us to be bold to share you with people yes, in our Lord. lives, whether it be on Facebook or in person, Lord God, help us to be bold. Lord, I pray for Russ who just yes, said, um, that asked for that, Lord, I pray that you'll give him a supernatural boldness yes, in this hour and in this season, Lord God. I pray for, um, see here, I pray, Lord God, for, uh, I pray for all those prayer requests, Lord God, that are not spoken, that we know people are sick, that they that they need a touch from you, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, that you'll touch them, Lord God. Be with them in this season and in this hour, Lord God. Oh, Lord Jesus, I pray, Lord God, that this virus will be lifted, that it will be destroyed. Yes, Lord. Lord, I pray, Lord God, that you will work a miracle in this season. Lord, I pray for, um, Lord, I, I lift up Mary. I lift up Helen. I lift, lift up... Larry, I lift up the Bramlets. I lift up Kay and I in her her household. Lord, I lift up Sarah and and Russ. Lord, I pray for Kathy. I pray for Linda and 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 everybody else that's watching. Angie, I pray, Lord God, that you'll be with them in this hour, in this season, Lord God. In Jesus name, shut up, cool. Lord, I just um, mm. guys, if you just, I just feel like you should reach out your hands, yeah. however you want to do it. Um, and everybody just reach your hands towards the, the screen. I just feel like I need to um, pray this over you. Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart, and you will not fear the terror of night, nor the arrow, arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. Yeah. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, the Lord is my refuge, and you make the most high your dwelling, no harm will overtake you. No disaster will come near your tent, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. 
they will lift up they will lift you up in their hands and so that you will not strike your foot against a stone you will tread on the lion and the cobra and you will trample the great lion and the serpent because he loves me says the lord yeah. i will rescue him i will protect him for he acknowledges my name he will call on me and i will answer him I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Yeah. Lord, I just pray yeah. that blessing and that Psalm 91 over mm. everyone listening right yes, now. Lord. And I just pray, God, that they would receive it in Jesus' in name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 If there's any other prayer requests, uh, we want to go ahead and, and just... We want to just take a few more moments and just give you guys an opportunity to share those requests with us. Um, we want to pray for you. We want to stand with you in prayer in this season, in this hour. Um, so anybody else have any requests? Uh, if not, we're going to close here soon. All right. I do want you guys, as you think about it, continue to pray for the pa other pastors. I, I've talked to a few, and and we're in, we're in, and this is not our element. This doing church this way is not our element, but we're learning and we're trying to get better. And so, pray for the other pastors for grace and 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 um, just lots of grace in this season, and and that God will help us to be creative. Um, a lot of times I don't feel like I'm the most creative and God will just, he will, uh, see, let's pray for, let's pray for James Lewis. Lord, I pray for James Lewis, whatever's going on with him right now in Jesus name, I pray you'll be with him, touch him, speak to his life, bring encouragement to his heart. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, Kathy Pryor. All right. All right. Well, give us, give us a big heart. Give us one more heart, everybody. Uh, let us know that you're, hey, I just want, I need to feel your love. I need to feel your love. So give me one more heart and then we'll wrap things up here in a minute. Um, we hope you're doing well. We do. We really do. Yeah. So we pray for you guys often. We think about you often. Uh, somebody gave me a laughy face instead. Oh, there's the heart. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you for the hearts. I feel the, I feel the love. I feel the love. There we go. Here's some more. We got 12 hearts. All right. All right. Ooh, I feel love. Brain's giving me a heart behind the camera. Heart to my brain. There we go. All right. All right. Love you guys. Um, okay. We will join you. Oh, thank oh, you so much. thank you. And Kathy, I will be praying with you as well about that as well. Okay. Lord, we pray for Kathy that you will get for wisdom in this, in this direction that she's considering and, and, and praying about, Lord God, I pray that she will hear your voice and, and, and sense your direction in this area. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Love you guys. Heart emoji back at you. And uh, we will see you guys on Sunday. I might I might get on here. Look for look to the uh, look to our Facebook page. I'll have a schedule if I decide to come out on do you want, I might do something Friday since it's gonna be good Friday. Do something for Friday. Um and so look look for that. Uh Anyway, I love you guys. We miss you. And we got 20, I think it's 25 heart emojis. Nice. It's fun seeing all those hearts go <laughs> flying up my screen. All right. And then Kay gave us an actual one in her thing. So love you guys. We'll talk to you later.